Okay, folks, today we're going to look at something called an amortization table. It's a big word. It just means it's a table. It shows in detail how a mortgage is to be repaid over a set amount of time. Okay? A mortgage, of course, is talking about a house and paying it off. Okay? Most of us have to do that because most of us are not rich enough to go and just buy a house. We all owe money on our houses. We all have mortgages. And an amortization table just gives you detailed information, okay? It lists each payment, how much of each payment is interest, so that's the amount that the bank gets, how much of each payment goes to reduce the mortgage, which is good, it's the principal it's called, the principal that you have paid down on, so it's the money that reduces how much you owe, which is often too slow, and that rhymes, and the amount still owing the outstanding principal after each payment. Okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to... Hmm, got to get rid of this stuff here. What we're going to do here is actually go through an amortization table. I should probably not use a color like yellow. I'll go with red because it shows up here and it also shows up on here. Yes, it does. Okay. Complete the amortization table for the first six monthly payments given the following information. The monthly payment is $694.63. As you can see, that's already been put on this table. It's been written in. That's nice. I didn't have to do it myself. Um, the money borrowed, the mortgage amount, that's a low amount. I mean, that's like a trailer nowadays, but $90,000 and there it is. Okay. This is before any payments have been made. Zero payments have been made. You owe $90,000. The interest rate is 8% compounded monthly. Okay? 8% compounded monthly. <coughs> okay, if you recall, 8% um, compounded monthly. Well, we're going to find the I value that we have found in many other videos. And the I value Let's see, it's how much interest is uh, going on with each payment. So let's say, um, or sorry, within each period. So in this case, the period is monthly. So what you do is you go 0 0.08 and you divide by the word, which is monthly, which is 12. Take your handy uh, calculator. Let's see here. And you go 0 0.08 divided by 12. So it's point. 0067. 0 0.0067. I just rounded it off. The more decimals you use, the more accurate the answer, but uh, I have limited space on this thing, so I'm just going to round it off to the nearest, uh, well, 10,000th, I guess, okay? <laughs> to the fourth decimal, okay? So here's how you do this thing. Here's your monthly payment. How much is going to the interest? Well, um, let's see if I have enough room to write in this box. You're paying, uh, you own $90,000, right? Times that by, and this is the first month, okay? This is not a year, this is just in the month. You're multiplying it by 0 0.0067. So let's do that on the calculator. Ninety thousand times point zero zero six seven six hundred and three dollars six hundred and three dollars are going towards the interest. That is horrible. The very first month, oh man. Okay. So the bank is getting $603. This is what the bank gets. And there's actually a happy face here. Wow, I put that in the right spot by fluke before, but the principal paid is happy because that's how much money is actually going down on your mortgage. So the way to figure that out is you take the monthly payment, 694 63 minus $603 for the interest, the amount that we get here is the happy amount. It's the amount that actually is reducing your mortgage. Um, it's the amount that went towards reducing your mortgage. 
So take your handy calculator. 694, 63 minus $603. Wow. $91.63. That's how much went to reducing your mortgage. So you owed $90,000. Now you only owe $90,000 minus $91.63. This is sad. So let's uh, quickly figure that out. You still owe $89,908.37. You still owe a heck of a lot of money. Okay. So what I did was I just went and uh, filled it in. It would have been so ugly for me to write it, the rest of it in. What I did was um, I just copied and pasted the, the solution as you can see so that you can see you can always push pause and just check out what happened here but you got ninety thousand dollars here's our monthly payment ninety thousand times point zero eight divided by twelve and what this does is this includes when you do a question where you put brackets and you just leave it like that it includes the entire decimal so instead of getting you know zero point zero zero six seven you're going to get a number that's far more accurate because it includes a lot of those decimals. And if you do this on your calculator, do it properly, you will get 600. I guess I should show you, okay? You're going to get 600 instead of the answer I got. So 90,000 times, and in brackets, 0 0.08 divided by 12 bracket equals, you get 600, okay? 600 is going to the interest. If you take 694.63 minus the 600, you get 94.63. Then over here, you take $90,000 minus the principal that you paid, and there is how much you owe. And the next month comes along, and you repeat this procedure, but this time with $89,905.37. You keep doing the same procedure over and over again, and you end up getting this is your answer after six months okay so after six months you have basically uh, reduced the mortgage whatever you could add this up all of these numbers here in bold let's round them off to a hundred bucks one two three four five six so maybe five hundred and I don't know five hundred and fifty dollars or so or you could take ninety thousand minus this and it would be you know 500 around 550 or 5 actually 578 or so and that's that's all that you've paid off in 6 months it's kind of sad but true okay so that is an amortization table i'm going to stop it there